Everybody has their unique thing that makes them special. And now I'm fortunate enough that I get to sit down and learn about that unique thing, talk about it with somebody, help them find out how to maximize it, be aware of some of the pitfalls that they might have when they might lean in too hard into that superpower, right? But if you can find a way to teach somebody how to channel their greatness, that greatness then expands and does amazing things for other people. I am Scott Thompson. I live outside of Portland in Beaverton. You know, I call it Beavertron for my old school Transformer friends. So my official title is Chief People Officer. I look after the people and making sure that every single person in our agency has what they need to show up and be their best. And if they don't have that, finding out how I can help or what resources I need to bring in so that they can show up as their best. How I show up, I've never been the main character. In my family life, my wife is the main character because she is the center of the tension, center of my world. It's definitely my wife, my two boys, that gives me the strength to kind of get back and get right again. So when I was young, I was, I was very competitive and I was faster than anybody else in the field. And I had this like drive just to always score and, and be the best player on the field. And so I went from being you know, small recreational soccer to then getting essentially recruited from the town next door to join their travel team. And then I got to go play on a club team. So kept making my way up the soccer pyramid, got recruited to go to UCLA, won a national championship. When I got done with that, I got drafted by the LA Galaxy, had a little bit of a stint with the Olympic team. When I came back, I got hurt again. And at that point, I was loaned to the Portland Timbers. That was my kind of first introduction to Portland and Oregon. And then I never left. My time when I got done playing was probably one of the most difficult moments of my life. Like no one teaches you how to be done playing something that you've done for 20 plus years. And, and I got pretty lost and I was fortunate enough to have my wife and family around me to help guide me through that moment. And coming out of it into another level of professionalism within soccer, like I looked at myself more than just a player and more than just a coach and as an executive and somebody that can, that was influencing and, and pulling the strings and putting all the pieces in the right place. And then now here at Thesis, like this has been another life-changing moment where now I get to live into who I am more. And there's a, there's a confidence in how I, how I proceed and, and speak to things that I've never had before. It's really being that foundation for others. Even just being that soundboard for someone to bounce ideas off of and and vet the direction that they want to go. Like there's, there's, there's power in that and I, I see myself being successful in that. For me, it's all come full circle. It went from playing to coaching to being in a front office. There was always that underlying element of understanding people and what drives people. Now I get to do it 24 seven. I may not be the most positive or the most like rah-rah, but I can control how hard I work and how I make other people feel or how I support other people. And I think that translates to in terms of like what I do now at Thesis, that I don't need to be the one in front of other people. I don't need to be the person that's like, hey, look at me, I've done all these different things. Like I take pride in showing up, working for folks and making sure that they have what they need to be successful that success and if I can set up my kids for their next generation and give them a little bit better a little bit better step up then I'm still winning as opposed to am I making more money for a company to do what with like that money is just going to a shareholder it's not going back to the planet it's not going back to the community so me working harder for that there's no point
When people feel seen, there's power. Being told that you are great, there's power. And there's a, a forward thinking mindset about it where it doesn't matter who I'm sitting with, but by saying that, they take that and it's like, now I'm gonna keep going and being great and make other people's lives better because of how I show up. That one's hit home for me where I tell people on a regular basis, like, I see you, I see the greatness in you.